What's up, everybody? It's baby motherfucking Ness. Anyway, so, um, baby Ness is going through some shit today. Or I should say Ness, because we're about to get 10K, and I'm going to change my name from baby Ness to Ness, because I'm growing, right? Okay, so, I'm going through a little issue. Um, you know, the first day, the second day, like, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, the first day, which was yesterday, well, Tuesday night. Um, I was okay. Like, bitterness wanted to set in, anger, like, negative emotions wanted to set in. And I said, no, you know what? That's never got me anywhere. And and it just never has, you know? Wrath. So, like, but here's what happened. So, my ex-wife came down to visit because she was being bullied at work by a little fucking piece of shit 20-year-old something like that right so you know she called me she shouldn't even be calling me because I, I didn't even talk to her at all so i decided to allow her back into my life and what happened was that she came over to visit me and she didn't want to leave and i had already told her that hey i'm growing i'm doing things i gotta move i gotta you know school to go to i noticed that for the time she spent here um, I'm not saying it's her fault because it's really my fault for allowing her, but basically I was starting to get like sluggish, lazy, drinking too much. And then there's all the emotions, like unresolved issues that I just never really dealt with because I felt they were, it was unnecessary. You know, that's why I got divorced her. So what happened was that, so we have a disagreement on Tuesday and then she gets so upset because somebody texted me, right? And she's like, you're gonna text girls when you're in front of me? I said, yeah, like it's for, it was it was nothing. It was for a, for a project. And so she took off and she fucking stole all my shit, you know? And I'm not gonna elaborate on why she had all my shit in her car, but um, I was okay until today she started to use my, my bank cards and then I got notifications, like a check, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, are you serious? And we're talking about when she came down, she was like running from someone just about, right? Well, I understand it. You know, I've been there before, whatever. But I bought her brand new bras and underwear, clothes, shoes, fucking, I showed her such a good time. And it just goes to show you that no matter how good you are to somebody, whoever, whatever they are, they'll always, they'll be that, you know, they'll, They'll like they'll burn you first, you know, for sure. So right now, like I do have like a, I drink and I shouldn't drink as much as I do or have been, but I'm not gonna drink tonight because I just don't. Um, I guess I'm venting on my YouTube channel, which is kind of like for me, it's cool. I really don't give a fuck, but whatever. So I went to court today. Why would why did I go to court? Well, when she was here, like, we had a disagreement, and that was another story. So if you care to know, so we had a disagreement because I wanted to go downtown, and she wanted to go to sleep, and I'm like, fuck, you know, like, I ain't trying to go to sleep right now. And uh, we had a disagreement. She took off and left me in a, in a city, slow, where I don't live, and then she took the key to the motel room. We had got a room in San Luis Obispo, and... And then baby Ness kind of like had a rampage, you know, and it happens like when I get mad, I get mad. That's why like, I try, try to be very passive and like just deal with this with the best solution because, you know, like I don't like negativity, you know, I get pissed, you know, just like everyone else. I'm a, I'm a human being. And so like, um, right now I was thinking I better not drink tonight or this evening because I'm gonna, I don't want like a little itty bitty bit of bitterness to enter while I'm like feeling joyful or or drinking because then it, it, it could turn into like a depressing down high, you know? So, and I don't approve of, this is, I don't never approve of or encourage any drug use like marijuana or anything else, but I really was thinking of taking MDMA and that's just to make me feel love 
like, and just to feel good, I guess. I don't know, because I don't want to uh, go down the wrong path, the wrong route. And <laughs> there's this dude, he used to be like, yeah, well, it's headed that way. But no, it's not. I'm not going to allow it. So um, also today, I've been like trying to get this project done. So there's a project. It's like a question question thing it's basically supposed to make you fall in love with whoever you do it with um i think like it will for sure inspire desire and attraction but love is a strong word you know like to say to say i love you or i'm in love with you i guess those are two different things they should be the same though but no anyway i don't want to get too too much into this but um Maybe I can find somebody and we can do it together and then we can do the question. But then for sure, that shit will lead to something, you know, which is probably what I want. But they have to want that too. So you, the law, like when you find a person that has the same desire as you, I guess that's called the connection, you know, like solid connection. So, um, yeah, well, anyway, so uh, I'm out on bail. And had court today. Everything went well. I got to go find my attorney. He's actually on my channel. Um, he, he was weird how I met him. When I met him, he's actually like a gay old man. And I say that in a good way. Like, I'm not trying to clown him. But he's like, yeah, man. He's like, apparently he has assistants that come to my school. And he pays them. And they, I don't know what they do, dog. Honestly, they're like assistants. He said... He, he said they watch movies and shit, but, but he said some way out shit and like because he was drinking, and that was cool. He shared, but um, he he's like, I gotta tell you something. I'm a criminal attorney, and I'm like, what? I never thought I would need one again, but shit happens, you know. But you know what, guys, dust yourself off because things are gonna get better. Um, you know what? People will try to stop you. They'll try to hurt you. You know what? Just like Steve Harvey, I lost it all before. You know, like, I'll pick myself back up and get back up. Keep going. The only thing right now, I really need, like, support. You know, someone that could tell me, hey, you know what? It's going to be someone that, that I could bounce my energy back and forth off of and talk to, you know? I met a couple, I met, like, a couple of people, but they're not, they're not a good fit. You know, so, um... Yeah, you know, but anyway, so where am I going with this? Well, I guess I'm just venting. I hope you guys have a good evening. And also, too, I'm trying to figure out what my YouTube channel is about because I really don't know. Like, if I, like, I don't know. There's some things I got to figure out. Like. What, what is my YouTube channel about? Because you got to have, like, a niche or whatever, you know, like, something like that. And the goal is to also make money. That's part of the goal. But I really enjoy just doing this kind of shit, blogging, but also, like, just shooting random content, make, doing, like, a prank or something. Or, like, you know, I like, I want it to be all over the place. So if anybody watched it this far, if you guys could give me some ideas on a new title for my channel that would be awesome um let me see what else oh yeah if anybody wants to chat with me like send me your email and i'll send you and i'll be in touch you know you could write it in the comments and i shouldn't be reaching out to people but at this point i'm not saying i'm desperate but i do need someone to bounce my energy off of you know or whatever so um it's all about wellness, and I'm not saying I don't feel well, but I'm going to need support. I just feel I'm going to need more support than I thought. Usually, I'm all right on my own, like, I, but I could use support, you know, a teammate, someone that's going to strengthen me, empower me, you know. Um, yeah, so this is a different approach to YouTube. A lot of YouTubers don't do this, and their channels are different. And I've gotten as far as I've gotten, but it's time to grow. So I guess I'm in a phase where I need to 
need to grow. I need to make sure I head in the right direction. Also, too, in my film class, they put this squeeze on me. They're like, uh, they're like, yeah, well, they're picking on me. They're like, why don't you do, why don't you do toy reviews? And then they, they, they're like, why don't you do a women fucking video? And like, shit like that. They're making fun of me, kind of low key, and that's okay. And they're like, why don't you stay up all night? And and I got like issues and shit from like drug addiction and shit like that. Like, and that shit wasn't funny to me. I'm like, dog, you fucking kidding me? And then they're like, we're watching Mr. Beast. And then and then they're like, there's this this thing he did, right? His little games. And he was like, a big circle with people. And the last one that leaves gets the money, right? I don't know if they could use the bathroom or not. But they're like, baby Ness, why don't you uh why don't you get a bunch of homeless people to do that? And I'm like, dog, that's terrible. I'm gonna have to for one, I'm gonna have to bribe him with meth, right? And two, I have a problem with that. So it's not a good recipe. That's like that's like a disaster, just really. And then these people are not uh they're not civilized, so they end up stabbing each other, whatever, you know? Not a good idea. But I like the the concept of doing that same idea or copying Mr. Beast's ideas. He has a lot of good ideas, but I'm also questioning, not questioning, but I have a, uh, so like, I believe in Jesus and shit, or excuse me, I believe in Jesus and Christ or whatever. And like, so like, I don't know, because every time I bring something about like God, they're like, who's your biggest inspiration? And I'm like, Jesus. And there, there's a reason for that. I feel persecuted sometimes, you know? Like, you have drug addiction and mental problems and everyone fucking is after you. Like, you're the elephant in the room. And But the one thing that saves you, they hate, you know? And it's like, oh, you guys hate the the thing that keeps me safe and sane, or sane you know, in my head. So I, just, I don't get some things, but regardless, we're going to make those millions. Uh, and we're going to keep blessing people or doing what we do, you know? I'm just gonna keep going, you know? Right now, I don't really have anything like, oh yeah, like a direction, a solid direction. But I do know one thing <laughs> is that uh, I'm getting my shit back. And if I don't get my shit back, then there's consequences for actions. If I take someone's shit, I'm gonna go to jail, you know? And if you take someone's shit, you're gonna go to jail. So that's just how it is, you know? And I hate to even be talking about this or venting on my YouTube channel. I really don't give a fuck about views anymore because that shit's up and down. So it's not like, oh, like this one has a million and oh, this one has five million, you know? I'm not even on, on that level yet, but um, I like the level that I'm at because I'm, I have to be ready for the wealth and the success. A lot of people aren't and like an early blessing can be disastrous, you know? So, um, shout out to Kaiser Permanente for giving me, like, the medicine that I need and shit. You know, they be hooking it up with, like, but all, not only hooking it up, but, you know, they do, they work with me, and that's cool. You know, so, and shout out to wellness and, me and mental well-being, because it's very important. You know, a sound mind <laughs> creates a sound body, and then you could do everything else that comes along with it. So, that's all I got. Well, yeah, check it out. So, yeah, it's supposed to rain. And hopefully, uh, I find somewhere to sleep. Because my car's in the shop. Adam Smith, my car's finally in the fucking shop. And they quoted me, like, at two two bands to fix it and i really love my car but at the same time i can buy another one for five my mom has a a, a car that that she could sell me for five grand that I, I would be i wouldn't mind buying and so but yeah anyways god bless you guys this evening wish me luck um hopefully i'll find like somebody to chill out with tonight and at least just to message and shit i don't know it's very important to have some kind of, you know, interaction. Hmm. 
Yeah. Later. Peace.